Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 18 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys the Ultimate Black Friday trading and investing guide, covering all of the best investments for you guys to pick up. To make yourself thousands and thousands of coins, I'm also going to be telling you guys exactly when to pick up these investments too, so you get them at their absolute minimum prices to really maximize your profit. But before getting on into the video, if you guys are on your own here, don't forget to subscribe as I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And also, if you guys could leave a like on the video as well, that would be very much appreciated. But without further ado, let's Let's go on into the investments. Now this year Black Friday is on the 24th of November, however that isn't the best time to pick up your investments in my opinion. I think the best time is going to be over the next couple of days. I'm recording this video on a Wednesday and I think now is a great time to get some investments as the new team of the week is released tonight. There's some really good players in there and because of that I think a lot of packs will be opened and that's going to drive down the prices of a lot of these players. Thursday is also a great time as Switch Champion Rewards will be released, a lot more packs are going to be opened as well and a lot of those are going to be 100k and 50k packs from people who've got anywhere from Elite up to Top 100, so a lot of big packs will be opened, and again, these cards are going to be packed a lot, and therefore their prices will go down, and if you're a bit too late, if you're watching this maybe on Friday or Saturday, Sunday is also a great time to make some investments, and that is because Squad Battle Rules are going to be released at 12pm UK time, and you guys can either bid on cards or try and snipe them, you can get them cheaply, and you can get some good investments made there, so in my opinion, those are the three best times to get your investments, Wednesday when the new team of the week is out, Thursday with Foot Champions Rewards, and then Sunday with with squad battle wars. If you're watching this anytime afterwards, I'd probably say that uh, Tuesday is good for team of the week, and then Wednesday and Thursday as well uh, in a week's time. But obviously, there you're really nearing the time of Black Friday. Prices are going to rise up a bit, so in my opinion, the best time to buy is over the next couple of days. Now, the investments, you can make so many investments right now. I'm going to be covering a lot of different options. Pretty much any cards you want to invest in, you can just because their prices are very, very low right now. But there are a lot of different cards to invest in. So first up, we have got just regular gold cards. There's a lot of different ones that are really good investments right now. Firstly, you want to look at popular players in popular leagues. So a lot of people like using on the game, the likes of Gabriel Jesus, Fernandinho. Uh, we've got Dembele there. We've also got Usman Dembele. We've got Bellerin. Those types of players are really, really popular in the game. And they've really dropped down a lot in price. Someone like Gabriel Jesus, I picked up a couple of days ago for 38k. He normally goes for about 50k. So I'm getting these cards so, so cheaply. People like Hector Bellerin. Look at the price I paid, just over 3k for him. So you can get some very, very cheap deals right now. So you're looking at people like Herrera as well, Bakayoko, Eric Bailly, loads of players like that. They're all really good investments. These are just a couple of examples. There are loads and loads of others. Basically just players who aren't too expensive, around 20,000 coins or less, who play in popular leagues for popular nations and who are just really popular on the game. There's also people like Mbappe, for example. Those cards that are going to be packed a lot as they're quite low rated but are still very, very expensive. So Gabriel G is only 81 rated, but he's like 40k right now. Those types of players, they're really, really good investments. You've got people like Hung Min Son, Martial, Sane, so many different cards. These are just a few examples, and there's some really good, good ones to pick up as they will be packed a lot. We've also got SBC investments as during Black Friday. There are going to be lots of SBCs most likely releasing, including Team of the Week SBCs, and they're going to require quite high ratings. So if you can get 83, 84, 85, and even 86 rated gold cards, you should be good, and you can get these so, so cheaply. 83 is for about 1,000 coins, 84s for about 1.5, and 85s for about 8k. I'll leave a link down below to Footwiz, and they actually have a feature, and that shows all of the cheapest players for specific ratings, so you can get some investments there, and they're going to be very cheap right now, and they'll be useful for SBCs. And then finally, for these regular gold cards and silver cards, we have got League SBC Investments. Now, I did actually do a video on the best League SBC Investments, and I'll leave a card in the top right corner of the video, but now is a great time to pick these up. You're basically investing for future leagues, got better challenges, you get silver cards, you get players in rare positions. For example, this guy is the only left mid who plays for Caen. This guy is the only left back who plays for Toulouse. And when a league SBC is released, they go up a lot in price as they're needed. And there aren't many players in those positions. So if you invest in these subs options there, we've got this guy here called Bessat. He's a really good one. We've got this guy called Mubanje. They're both good investments. But I have done a video covering all of the best investments from a lot of different leagues. And you guys can go and check that out if you want to get a, a good kind of idea of all the different investments to pick up. These are just a few examples. But right now they're very cheap and that's mainly down to the marquee matchups having been released a couple of days ago Because of that silver packs were on the market There's also some very very cheap silver packs that give some really good players I think they're 3.75k packs and they give you some really good silvers You get a load of them a lot of people have been opening those up So these cards have been packed a lot and because of that they've gone down in value So they're also some good investments to get and then moving on to special cards so many good investments Firstly team of the week investments. We've got 384 rated informs 
Wolves that are quite affordable. Torvan for a decky, and then there's also Parejo. All of them are good investments to get. Torvan you can get for about 20k. 84 to the inform. That's so, so cheap for one of those. You could easily see him hitting 30k or so over the next few weeks. Or so that's a pretty good card. Hrodeki is like 18k, even cheaper. And then for some lower rated ones, people like Troyari. Such a good cheap team of the week investment. He's about 12,000 coins. He's an 82 rated inform playing in league. And also a really popular league. He's got really good stats there. 90 pace. Really good dribbling. Four star skills. Good passing. Decent physical and shooting as well. And he is very, very cheap. And then also we've got Steve Cook. He's about 14k which is a very, very good price for a Premier League inform. I could easily see him hitting anywhere from about 16 to 25k over the next couple of weeks, especially with Player of the Month coming up. That can make his price rise up even more. And there are lots of other good ones. You've got Paco Alcatha, for example. Loads of the Team of the Week guys are good investments right now. You've got people all the way down for about 10 or 11,000 coins from those discard price informs. There's a striker from the Cal 2A right now in the Team of the Week you can get for about 10k. He's a good investment. All of the cheap ones, you can get them so so cheaply right now and they're going to rise up a lot in value so these are some of the better ones but you've also got people like Parejo you've got Paco Alcatha he plays for Barcelona so he's also going to rise up in price potentially because of SBCs you can link him up easily and he's 82 rated and then moving on to some other special cards we've got ones to watches right now they're very very cheap Bernadeschi is a good one Trial Ray is another really really good one I know he has got an inform so you would expect him to be inflated a lot in value he's only about 16 or 17 thousand coins right now because of having an inform he's gone up to 82 his his previous one to watch without the boost was only like one or two thousand coins cheaper so right now he's so so cheap and if you pick him up he's an 82 rated one to watch card could be useful for future species especially around christmas time with footmas they're almost definitely going to be releasing species that will need a lot of different special cards and you can get them very very cheaply so bernadeschi davinson sanchez bruma hernandez kessie uh, trial race so many good investments so some good ones to get right now they're very very cheap you've also got ultimate screen cards again i think they're going to be needed for species around christmas time and you can get some very, very cheap deals. Van Damme is one you can get for about 10,000 coins. And there are a lot of other very cheap ones like Bender and Peter Crouch. And then we have got the new Path to Glory cards. These are some of the best investments in my opinion. And I've got different ones for different reasons. So discard price ones, we've got Wagner. You can get him for about 12k. He's an 82 rated Path to Glory card. So he's going to be really useful for any future SBCs. And also, he has scored like 4 or 5 goals so far this season. He's been pretty good. He's already got an inform. So you could see this guy getting a few informs. And... And are rising up in price even more. We also have Juliano. This guy, unbelievably, is about 13k. You can get him even cheaper if you try and snipe him. And he has scored like four or five goals this season, got a load of assists, and he's actually been really good. So I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me at all if he got a few informs this year. He's got a good card, really good nation. I could see this guy rising up a lot if he gets a few more informs, and you can get him so so cheaply right now. This guy is a very, very good investment. Danny Welbeck as well, he's very underpriced. He's like 15 to 17k, which is a really good price for an English Premier player playing for Arsenal with some decent stats. I know he doesn't play game in, game out but he has got a few goals this season and you never know. Even if he just gets announced in the starting 11 you could see him rise up 5 or 6k and you can make some good profit. He is another one that is very, very underpriced. And then the final discard price one, we've got Carvalho. He's around 11 to 12,000 coins right now. An 83 rated path to glory card. Very good investment for SBCs. He's probably not going to get informs this year, but just because of the rating and the fact he's in a decent league, he's going to be really useful for any future SBCs needing these cards. And then finally, two other very underpriced cards. We've got El Shrawe. He has got an average rating of around 7.8 so far, according to whoscored.com, which is, I think, the highest of all of the Path to Glory cards. So he's been really, really good this season so far. He's already got an inform. He's got a lot of goals, both in the Champions League and also in the Serie A. And you can get him right now for about 50k. His inform was about 38k before the Path to Glory cards came out. So you're getting a version which can get boosted up if he gets any future informs for not too much more than his last inform was actually selling for. And if he gets another inform, I could see him rising up significantly. He's been really good this season, and I expect him to carry on that form. Could easily see him getting two or three other informs throughout the year, and having five-star skill moves, he's going to go up a lot in value. And he, with those stats, if he gets another inform, he's going to have over 90 for pace and dribbling, really good shooting as well, good passing, and he's another really good one that, again, I think is quite underpriced. And then the final one is Marquinhos. He is so, so cheap right now. You can get him for about 28 to 30,000 coins, and if you look at his card, he has a very, very good card with some nice, well-rounded stats, plays in a good league with a good nation and last year his first in form had pretty much the same stats as this path to glory card just as his regular card and that was about 50k so if he gets an inform now which he's very likely to he always seems to get informs he had two or three last year he had a couple the year before and because of the league he plays and he plays 
for by far the best team in that league in terms of squad depth, just the players they have, the amount of goals they score. You could easily see him getting a goal or two maybe from corners or something and rising up a lot in value. And if he does get an inform, I think he's going to hit like 50 or 60k easily just because of the stats he's got and because of the fact he gets a hyperlink to Dani Alves and also to Thiago Silva. You can link him up very easily in teams. I think he'll rise up a lot if he does get a goal or two. Could easily see that happening. And for that reason, I think he's another very good underpriced investment. So those are the best investments in my opinion. But those are just a couple of examples. There are lots of others to get. For example, the Ultimate Scream cards. Van Damme isn't the only one. There are loads of good cheap ones. Same with people like Bernadeschi. Lots of other ones to watch cards. These are just some of the best Team of the Week investments. There are plenty others. And from the new Team of the Week as well, I'll try and release a video tomorrow on the best investments from there. But I'm sure there'll be plenty of good ones. And with these cards down here, just a couple of examples. Again, you've got people like Herrera, Bakioko, Bai, loads of other good players. Just look for players in good leagues who are popular with good stats. 84s, 83s, 85s, just find the cheapest for those specific ratings. Pick up a few of them, and then for the league, it's SBT Investments. I left a card earlier on. I'll leave a link down below as well as the video I've done covering all the best investments. But that's pretty much all you want to do. Spend your coins on these investments. Get them either tonight when I'm uploading this video on a Wednesday. Get them on Thursday. Get them on Sunday. And if you miss all of those, try and get them maybe Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday next week, but just get these investments, sell them in the future when they rise in value, especially with those league SBC investments, just store them in your club, wait till SBCs are released, they obviously need those cards, they're going to rise in value, same with some of the special cards, like Ultimate Scream cards, they're going to rise in value when SBCs are released, so just keep hold of them, same with the informers too, and then with the Path to Glory and Ones to Watch cards, pick them up, store them in your club, if they play well, you can sell the one and make some good coins, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're on your own here, and I'll catch you guys in my next video, take care.